Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to talk about this remarkable story that I read on the internet today regarding this bodybuilder who heard himself being resuscitated three times and he had caught the coronavirus. And I thought it was something that, you know, we can learn from. But before we do that, I am going to eat, so let's go. Right, I'm in the kitchen now. Now, for dinner today, I'm making some chicken <coughs> because, you know, protein. So, now in order to make chicken, <coughs> We need to get some chicken. Now, the chicken is somewhere here. Nice, lovely. As, as I say, you always want to get, oh, fuck. Always want to get your chicken from Sainsbury's. Why? Well, if you look at the protein content, I'm not going to show my nails. Oh, why did I not cut my nails? Oh, for fuck's sake. Basically, can you see 30 grams, 30 grams of protein? Jacks. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why don't I come on here? 30 grams of protein per 100 grams. And that's more than Tesco's, which have 24 grams of protein per 100 or little. So, I'm gonna use that. Then, welcome. You get this larder. And. Et voila. Chicken, chicken korma. I said chicken tikka, but we're gonna make chicken korma. I would make a sauce, but I'm lazy. I'm too. I'm too lazy. So, yeah. Let's begin. Tapped in. Lately, my life had a fast man, but it's ass plan. Fight for my life with the brass hands, and I still ball with a bad hand. Got an aerial point of view, but they'll never see the big picture through zoom lens. From the quicksand, make it push start. Type of band's cool, but the tent plan. I'm back on my bender rolls for the kicks. They come to give them two cents. Put my circle tight like we glued hands. Like I don't believe in new friends. Trail light, I know the ice thin. I drop the song, get a few wins. I crave the comfort in my own skin. Really, I just want to feel the world spin. Hope I check, watch me double that. I get it lit, I watch it bubble up. Remember, open it for shows, never show. Get all off the phrase, but I can't get no sleep. Landing in the weeks, life is bittersweet. I can't really explain it, but it's everything I need. At least for now, I think that everything might be alright. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I can't get no sleep. Landing in the weeks, life is bittersweet. I can't really explain it, but it's. <sighs> I need to put glass in the water. Do you like my lines? I cut that. Look how beautiful it is. Well, it's not the best, but look how look how peng that is. It's straighter than most guys I know. Honestly, look at it. Jeez. Right, let's put it in water. Let's put some water on. The next day. All right, here goes. Welcome back. I am in a car. For, for once, I'm actually vlogging in a car. And the reason why? I was taking a fucking blood test. Fucking you know. hell. So I'm thinking, whilst I'm here, I might as well tell you the rest of the story. Well, continue the story. So Simon Fan, he's a 47-year-old British bodybuilder from Birmingham. And he's a former, former British champion. And back in March, of course, whilst the pandemic was at its height, he caught the coronavirus. He got the symptoms, you know, the standard symptoms. And yeah, it didn't go well. It didn't go well from there. One For one week, we thought, yeah, it's not too bad. A week after, it's not good. The guy is struggling to breathe. And if, if you look at the guy, he is bloody ripped, right? And the first thing I'm noticing is that, what the hell? The first thing you need to notice is this guy, he is ripped. He's healthy as fuck, and he's struggling. He's struggling to breathe. And you know how they're saying if you've got pre-existing uh, pre conditions, you're more likely to like you know die from it. I think there's something really, really interesting is after that one month of him in hospital, you need to see what happened to his gains. You know, guy hench as hell, like bodybuilder competing, and he, he just looks. Uh. And th there is a moral. There is a moral to the story, actually. <laughs> Oh, 
cars cross. How windy it is. Oh my god, what the hell? So fucking windy. Oh my god. Okay. Right. More of the story. Right, um I did record it, but I was recording with the wrong camera. I was recording with the inside camera. So, the moral. This guy's been working out for 20, 25 years, and all the muscle that he's been gaining got boom. Zoop, zoop, just like that. To make it even worse, he was about to die. Like, why is this important? Now during the lockdown, even I'm guilty of this. I just keep. Com I just kept complaining. Many of us have just kept complaining. Ah, oh, I wish the gyms were open. Ah, oh, oh, I could be working out right now, but Boris didn't close the gyms. Well, I hope this guy kind of gives you a lesson. Look, he's fit. He had no pre-existing conditions, and he was about to die. I mean. You know, like that's one that's a very like one of the few cases of course i know that but first of all you need to remember gyms are quite big it's a very easy place to catch coronavirus and the second thing is what's it if you're watching this you're probably really young you're 18 19 20, 18 to 25. you've got a whole life ahead of you if there is a second lockdown and the gyms have to close okay yeah it's inconvenient but you know be a little bit grateful that you know, he's still around, he's still alive. This guy was about to die. He literally was about to die. And to be honest, like, for him, yeah, he lost all his gains. Fair enough. But would you rather lose all your gains or be alive so you could, you know, somewhat get your gains back? I mean, gym is not everything. Well, you know, people say gym is life. Of course, gym is life. But when your actual life comes to it, you know, don't risk it. Before I finish, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you did enjoy this video. Um... I want to do more videos like this, where, you know, you know, things I see in the news, well, with, of course, my challenges on the side, so. And with the Adama Traore challenge, I don't think I can get it done, partly because two-thirds of it I haven't recorded, so. <coughs> I don't have Corona, I don't have Corona, but, I'm not going to lie, for me, YouTube is a bit of, uh, still a bit of experimenting. Someone gave me advice, do a series on something. So this month, I've got something very special coming soon. So, and on that note, I'll see you in the next one.